Now I may want to add at this point that not only is there no money in the meat industry or, or any financial reward or gain for the meat or the dairy industry for us consuming more iodine and less of their meat and dairy products, um, but there's also more money, there isn't any money for the pharmaceutical industry or the medical establishment if we don't get sick so much and we don't end up going for help because we will have prevented all of our degenerative illnesses and our infectious illnesses by taking more iodine. Now I'm, I also have to add that it is really the saturated fats of animal products such as butter and butter fat and lard which are the main causes of heart disease and cancer not the saturated fats coming from plants such as peanuts or coconut now it's true aflatoxin in peanuts is a mic is a byproduct of the fungus that can often grow on peanuts and they're not very good for the liver but let's just look at coconut oil and coconut butter for instance it's only fifty percent saturated fat not a hundred percent and so it also has other things that are healthy for you and it basically statistically has never been shown to be bad for you it doesn't create cholesterol nor boost cholesterol in the blood it's actually good for you but it's very much underlooked i know that for a fact since t increasing my ingestion ingestion of iodine